One of the coolest things I get to do is travel the world as a street performer. And street performers, they tell great stories. So here's two more animated shorts from the popular Stories from the Pitch podcast. Now this first story is told by two of my favorite street performers. They actually inspired me to become a street performer. Here's Alakazam and Peter Panic. So let's talk about the best moment of your life. I'd heard the story that Bruce Springsteen and his entourage had come up after your show in Sydney. He was there, his wife came up and said, that was a great act. And he came over, he's like, oh, you're the best street performer I ever saw. And basically gave me his phone number. Right. And said, if you're ever in the States, give me a call, we'll hang out. And I was like, what? Right. And Bruce was going to play Fenway Park. So I said to you, I said, Al, you know, you got to call that dude. And I watched you pull out your phone, and then you come back over and you said, yeah, they remember me. And so we went uh, yeah. the next night, and as he's walking up the ramp, I sort of lost my mind. We walked up. And I'm like, this is my friend Peter. That I, you're like, I'm from Jersey, dude. I am. I am I'm from, from Jersey. Jersey. And the next minute, the security like ushered him into the car. I know. And they drove off. I know. I would bury a body for the dude. I would do anything for him. Yeah. Ain't that crazy? Just goes to show you. Always put your best foot forward. You never know who is gonna be watching. I was really hoping Mila Kunis would be watching me. If you like videos like this, you gotta give it a thumbs up so I know to make more. Now this next story, I, I gotta be honest, I don't really know the people telling it or what they're talking about. But as soon as I heard it, it just got all these weird visuals in my head of like what this guy does. And it's just so obscure and strange. And if I saw it, I wouldn't want to look away. And so I just had to animate it. That said, here's the story of Fat Randy. I remember the first time I saw a real street show where you go, ah, that's what you can do. And that was this guy, Randolph the Remarkable. He's a huge guy and he dressed like a sort of Arabian knight and did nothing. He would have a plastic washing up bowl and uh, he would fill it with water and he'd say he's going to put his stomach into the bowl of water and he'd have people examine his stomach and he would explain what he's going to do. He's going to lower it in, he's going to arch himself back and push all the air out. Uh -huh. This absurd big fat man putting his belly into this bowl of water and he would stand up and the washing up bowl would be stuck to his stomach. We have suction. And he did that. I think at one point he lit a little torch and put it out in his mouth. But it was the first time I saw somebody do 45 minutes with big laughs and structure. And that was the first time I thought, oh, okay, you can do that. I have, I, I have to see that, I have to see that show. I... I had to figure out a way to see Randolph the Remarkable, okay? That is so bizarre. I actually did some Googling, and turns out Randolph is like super attractive man, like super hot. So Randy, if you're watching, I'm curious from a beautiful person's perspective, do I have a chance with Mila Kunis? So. That wraps up this week. If you want more videos, you gotta check out my new vlog channel or my Snapchat. And for those asking about tutorials, I'm launching some brand new private animation tutorials through my Patreon. So if you wanna learn animation from the best, you gotta hit up Patreon for the details. I am It's Alice Clark. Thanks so much for the likes and the love, and I will see you somewhere, okay? Bye! You messed up the end! Why you gotta be cute like that? Why you gotta be adorable? The pinky! My doggy! Oh my goodness! Ah, boo -boo -boo. A puppy! The puppy! Pu 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 the puppy! This is the end. A puppy! Pu 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 I just keep doing this until there's a puppy! Until there's only one person left, and I hope that it's Mila. <laughs> <laughs>